Welcome back. When you are involved in index tuning, you rely heavily on some DMVs, dynamic management views. For example, index usage stats, index operational stats, and also index physical stats. Now, you are writing scripts to extract meaningful information out of these DMVs, and these metrics, the numbers, the counters are quite useful because based on these metrics, you are taking important decisions whether to keep the index or whether to remove it or maybe just modify the index and include some, some columns or exclude certain columns, etc. Now think about it, for some reason, what if these indexes, these DMVs, the, the scans, the seeks and the counts that you are seeing there, they get reset. Yes, I'm talking about a surprising uh, incident that I encountered in one of the recent consulting engagements where the metrics in these DMVs were being reset. So assuming in your production environment, you would probably see high counters, high metrics, high values, higher values for many of these indexes in terms of their usage. But for whatever reason, they are being reset back to zero and then they start climbing up again. You might think that the indexes are not being used so much and you may take some decisions otherwise and the entire thing may mislead you. So what I have done is created a small prototype just to show you what I witnessed in one of the um, customer's location. And the idea is just to make you aware so that you are careful. Let's get started. I'm using AdventureWorks 2016. Let's change the database context. We have a select statement retrieving data from a table person dot person and the predicate is on last name. By looking at this last name predicate, you may realize that we have an index on last name. Now you get the data out. Let's go and look into index usage stats. I have the stored procedure, which will give me some information and let's put our focus on this index, which is on last name, first name and middle name. And these are the metrics, the counters, the values that I was talking about, the seeks, the scans, lookups, etc. And if you look at one of the attributes here, seeks, and we can see that this index is being seeked upon 57 times. Now this number of course is very low. In your production environment, you will probably see much higher values. But remember, this is just my VM and I'm just putting up a small demo. Now, let's say this index is good and I want to keep it because this is being used. Now let's do something. What this do something is, we'll talk about that later. I'm going to change the database context to master and then execute this stored procedure, which will do something. Now that something is done. Let's go and change the database context back to AdventureWorks and let's start executing this query once more. So let's go and run this once more and maybe once more again. Now what? This number was 56, right? Or 57, whatever. And now this should be 58, 59 or 60, something like that. Let's go and check our index usage stats. And when I run this stored procedure again, I go to this index and I can see, wow, the number was actually reset. So when I did this do something, uh, it was reset back to zero. And then I executed the select query twice. And of course the predicate was on last name. So there was a seek operation being performed and you can see the counter now to be two. Now, what might happen in real world is when you're looking at this index um, usage statistics, this information, and you will see a lot of numbers, a lot of objects, you might think that this index is not being used so much and you might think about dropping it or you might think about modifying it or you might think about like just including, excluding some columns or changing the order of columns, whatever, depending on the querying pattern. But then the point is what really happened? Um, why were these numbers reset. Now you might think that I have restarted SQL Server behind the scene, but not. If you remember that do something stored procedure ran in less than a second. So just to prove the point to you, I have another stored procedure which can tell you that yes, my VM has been running for last three days, 20 hours. So of course I have not restarted SQL Server. So what exactly was happening with my customer was this. I jump over to the other tab where the store procedure is there. The database was actually going offline and then I brought it back online. So here was the scenario. Uh, 
as a nightly batch process there was some bulk load happening uh, via an SSIS package and after the bulk load was complete for some reason the database was going offline and then it was being brought back online again while that is under investigation but the point that I'm trying to make here is with this offline and online in non-business hours maybe even a SQL Server restart would reset all the DMV values back to zero and if you're not monitoring effectively and if you're not capturing these values properly then these numbers these metrics might mislead you completely so be aware and be careful that something like this might be happening even in your environment hope you like the video subscribe to the channel click on this bell icon so that when we release new videos you are notified and if you like the video put the thumbs up share it and see you soon if you like the content, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon so that you're notified on new videos. Most importantly, visit SQLMaestros.com. There's a lot of SQL learning resources out there. Video courses, master classes, lab kits, ebooks, blogs, hands-on labs and a lot more. Follow us on Twitter at the rate SQL Maestros and myself A underscore Bunsel. Last but not the least, do subscribe to our newsletters. See you soon in another video. Goodbye.